Hi, I'm Dr. Aarti, consultant dermatologist, CI Cosmetic Clinic, Bangalore. Hair loss is something every one of us face and we can relate to, like whether it be a male or a female. And especially when it comes to females, they it's really depressing for them to see so much of hair in their comb and lying all over their house. Does the fact of losing hair make you very depressed? And do you think that you'll go bald like a male one day? I'm here to clear all your doubts. So normally, every person loses around 60 to 80 hairs per day. That is normal. So only when the hair falls, it makes way for your new hair to grow. But when you need to be worried about is when you're losing exceptionally a lot of hair, like more than 100 hairs per day, and it's there for months together, and you start losing hair in a pattern. For a male, this, if you see a male who's a bald, there is a characteristic pattern which follows. He starts losing hair first from the corners, and then he starts losing hair from the vertex. If you see in females, it can be either the same thing or your partition. If you, if you take a center partition, it starts widening. We call it a Christmas tree pattern. So if you're losing hair in a characteristic pattern, that's when you need to be worried about and you need to think of getting an expert opinion about that. So this indirectly points that there can be a hormone imbalance in your body. So along with this, if you have a lot of acne in your face, if you have a lot of hairs in your upper lip and your chin and you're really obese, then all these are indirect pointers towards you having any hormone imbalance like polycystic ovarian disease or any sort of metabolic syndrome like obesity, diabetes, thyroid or anything. So mostly in majority of these cases doesn't respond to any sort of home remedies that we usually resort to. Whether it be applying onion juice or you know applying curd and fenugreek, anything for that matter, this is not going to respond to those sort of treatments. So it's not always that you should have a hormone imbalance to lose hair and go bald. There are also other conditions in which you can lose hair like for example, if you have thyroid or you recovered from a very serious illness, there is a lot of stress going around or there's a major surgery you've undergone or there is any nutritional deficiency like iron or vitamin B12, it can again add to hair loss. So when you're facing this, always go to an expert, get your scalp and your hair analyzed. There is something called as a dermoscope which your dermatologist can use to see if there is characteristic thinning of hair which occurs in all these hormone induced hair loss. So if you are facing something called as a female pattern hair loss, so which means that there is a lot of male hormone production in your body which is making your individual hair fibers go thin then you definitely need a treatment to stop the balding process. So coming to the treatment point of view, there are many serums uh, available which helps in anchoring the roots to your scalp as well as in preventing the thinning of the hair. Uh, so your doctor will always start with prescribing a serum for you and along with this there are many procedures like PRP in which we take blood from your body, separate the growth factors and inject it to your scalp and something called as mesotherapy in which again growth factors are injected to your scalp which helps in faster recovery and you know anchoring of your hairs to your scalp. So coming to other procedures which can help you in restoring the hair which has already been lost, as I told you previously, PRP, uh, derma roller, mesotherapy, and for especially for uh, people who've lost almost 50% of their hair, who are in the grade uh, five and six of hair loss, hair restoration surgeries like hair transplantation are a boon for them. So these procedures can totally restore your hair and give you a very natural look and you know take away the feel that you've gone bald so always consult an expert get your whatever treatment you're getting get yourself analyzed do a list of investigations and find out why you're losing hair